The teams here on the ground in Mission Control Houston have been talking about the cruise timeline. They are now an hour and 10 minutes ahead of schedule, which provides them the potential to continue with a get ahead today. That would be removal of the final nickel hydrogen battery in this series of battery upgrades and it's and moving it to the external pallet. The crew agrees that they will continue to work toward that and the teams here will continue monitoring the timeline as they move through the tasks. To walk you through the removal of battery six and its movement to the adapter plate is my colleague Sandra Jones. Take it away, Sandra. Good morning and thanks for joining us for today's spacewalk. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones. Coming up, the crew members will remove battery six, which is an older nickel hydrogen battery and install it into its new home in slot E on the adapter plate. We are three hours and 44 minutes into the 230th spacewalk in the history of the space station's assembly and maintenance. NASA astronauts Bob Bankin and Chris Cassidy have been busy swapping out older nickel hydrogen batteries with newer lithium ion batteries. This series of spacewalks will round out the final phase of a three and a half year power upgrade to the station. This battery swap will ensure the station's solar arrays can store power for years to come. Cassidy has just set the stage for the next task by installing adapter plate E. Battery 6 now has a spot open and waiting for it upon its release. 